This is Mr. Joe from Virtuobotics, and today we're going to be talking about one of my personal favorites, knife switches. We have three varieties of knife switches, and yes, they are all completely and totally awesome. However, each of them has generally a different purpose. They come in the single pole, single switch, double pole, single switch, and double pole, double switch. So let me go over them a little bit more detail on what each one of them does. The knife switch may be familiar from the old Frankenstein movies. These look a little bit different because they're meant for, you know, function, not so much for making a movie. So a single pole, single switch has a single switch and a single pole. These are the poles. So basically, if you connected something right here, right? So you put the wire there, and then you were to connect another wire over here, the only way to connect those two wires would be to pull the knife switch down into the closed position. And if you wanted to disconnect the circuit, you would simply raise the bar. Pretty simple. Most circuits, all you really need is something like this. Let's say that you have two circuits and you wanted to decide which one was on or off or turn both of them off with a single switch and look badass while you do it. Basically, you put the power onto this one or the ground, depending on how you want to do it. Normally, I put the high input on the control circuit and then everything would have a common ground. And if you wanted to turn on the circuit that was connected here, you'd have it in this position. Turn on the circuit that was connected here, put it into this position. If you want both of them off, you simply leave it in that state. And so by doing that, you have the ability to have two circuits that won't ever be on at the same time controlled by a single switch. Now here's where you can start getting a little bit complicated. And I've had users put 20 of these in line to create basically manual computers of some kind or another. But basically when you have dual pole, dual switch, each of these circuits is its own independent one of these, right? And that means that you can basically do this twice, except the big thing is that when one of these is switched on, the other one is switched on as well. And same with this guy. So this is great for controlling like motor directions and things like that. Basically, you could put high input and low input here, and you could actually connect these to the same outputs and have this one make a motor go in reverse and this one make a motor go forward. It's a really common use. It's great if you want to avoid relays in your design. And obviously, just like the previous one, this would be the disconnected state. So if it's not touching that guy, now it's turned on. Now that one would be turned on. So that's basically how knife switches work. They are great for working with children on learning basic electronics, and they are great for control circuits that you really need to know when something's turned on and off, and you don't want to rely on a push button lock mechanism that could be a little bit ambiguous. Looking forward to seeing what you guys put together with those, and please let me know or uh, post a video in the comments below if you have any questions.